Amen. You know, we have to give to this great gospel. We have to support our own. Amen. Right here, we're going to call on the youth choir. At this time, you please come forth. Amen. Praise the Lord, everyone. Praise the Lord again. Are you glad to be back in the house of God? I am. Man, glad to be here one more time. Man, we thank God for this wonderful, amen, uh, young people district meeting. Man, the Lord is still talking. Amen. The Lord is just blessing these, these young people. Amen. I thank God, amen, just for the opportunity, amen, just to be in the midst. If you will, pray along with us. We're going to attempt to sing a song entitled, Jesus, I am nothing without you, Jesus. Amen. We are nothing without him. Amen. The song goes on to say, just like a ship, amen, without a sail. Amen. Just like a ship without an anchor, tossed to and fro with the cares of this life. And that's what the Lord is talking about, how we're intoxicated, amen, with the cares of this life. Amen. But thank God for Jesus. Amen. Pray along with us.
Let us say, thank the Lord. I am nothing. I am nothing without you, Jesus. Without the Lord, where will we be? Amen. Somewhere drifting. But I thank God. At this time, we're going to bring before you some more firepower, man. I'm telling you. I remember the first time I heard this guy, man, I'm t- I, whew, he warmed me up. And I know he's going to warm me up some more tonight. <laughs> so I'm going to present to you Elder Germany Watson. As he come forth, let us say thank the Lord. Let's say amen. Let's say amen again. Amen. Truly, it's a blessing just to be back in the house of prayer just one more time. Amen. I'd like to give honor to my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. The one that died for sinners, that we might live. Now, I honor the Apostle Reverend Devil J. Peterson, the one that brought this great gospel at evening time. And to the great mighty Bishop Staff, Bishop Ross, Bishop Rice, Bishop Durham, Bishop Sears. They give honor to Bishop Evans, Bishop Henry Martin, Bishop J.T. Martin, and to Bishop Williamson. Giving honor to present day leadership, Bishop Stevens, the one that's watching for our soul. We give honor to Bishop Studdermeyer, to Bishop Mason, and Bishop Wilson. Honoring Bishop Tisdale, Bishop Nixon and Bishop Key. May we thank God for all, all of their companions, to my companion tonight, to each and every one that it takes to make up this great body of Christ. Amen. I, I, I thank God for Jesus. I mean, I, I was a little nervous before I got up, but <laughs> I guess I feel all right now. I'm, I'm, I'm just been so full hearing the word on this weekend. Amen. I mean, even on today's service, just being so full, the Lord blessing us through the women department. And it's, it, it, it's, 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 what a, it, it's a blessing to me to be able to hear the word. Amen. I coming through this week, Talking about being in such a battle. Heard somebody say it's not a flesh and blood battle, but it's a spiritual warfare. A battle that the enemy is trying to take you out. The enemy is trying to stop and trying to confuse you in your mind. Heard the Lord was talking about last night how he's the author. Or confusion. But I heard him say that Jesus, he's the author and the finisher of my faith. Hallelujah. And the song say that without Jesus, we can do nothing. Do you believe that tonight? I come to find that out in my life. Without him, I can do nothing. Sometimes we, we try to do the thing that we can do. And, and sometimes we try to go beyond that. But once you realize that you can't do that, you got to depend on Jesus. You got to humble yourself down and say, Lord, here I am. Lord, give me some mercy. Lord, give me some grace. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I, I hear the Lord talk about last night the, that son that, that strayed away. Amen. I can put myself in that position. Well, I've been raised and brought up in the church, but even just recently, my mind has been strayed away. From, from, from the gospel. From the way that the Lord has put in me. Hallelujah. The, the, the way that he, he planted the seed in me. And I find myself trying to get away from it. Hallelujah. I find myself trying to be like the world. 
trying to do the things of the world. Instead of thinking, having that mind of Christ, I had the mind of the world. Trying to, try to handle a situation like the world handled. But I heard the world say that we got to trust in God. Heard him say that we got to take him at his word and do what he say. Hey Amen. This world is, 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 is out to kill us. The world is out to suck us dry. But if you can somewhere believe the word that the man of God is preaching. Hallelujah. You can find some help. You can, you can find some strength. You can find joy. It's all in the word. They have been preached here on this weekend. My cry is tonight, Lord, here I am. Give me some mercy. Lord, give me some grace. That, that, that only means the station of time. A lot of times we have our bills that we have to pay. And sometimes you're not able to, to pay them right then. You have to call in and get an extension. That's what I find myself doing this weekend. Calling on the, the name of the Lord. Lord, give me some grace. I, I, I know I'm, I'm not worthy. Hallelujah. One of you going to pray with me here tonight. I ain't going to be up here for a little while. But Lord, I can't hear that son say that I am no more. No more worthy to be called your son. But I heard him say, if you can just make me a, one of your high servants. Can I get a witness here today? I, 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 I don't too much uh, 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 worry about no position. But Lord, if you can just keep me in your house. Hallelujah, I'm going to sit down in a minute. Uh, if, if you can just let me come to Zion and praise your name. Hallelujah. I'm having that, man. I'm having man. You got to pull my coat there and pull it, man. But, 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 I'm, I'm like that son. Hallelujah. So he was about to eat what the hogs eat. Hey, can I get a witness here tonight? I was rewarded about to do the things of the world. I was the one that had the, the mindset that the world had. I was the one that said, uh, the, uh, save your money and look out for your own self. Somebody know what I'm talking about here tonight. But I can hear the Lord say, you got to give in order to receive. I heard him say, heard him say, in order to, to go up, you got to come down. And I find myself saying, Lord, here I am tonight. Nothing but a sinner, nothing but a low down, nasty sinner. But Lord, I'm in need of this word you got here for this weekend. I'm, 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 I'm in need of a savior. Heard somebody say his name is Jesus. The one that have all the power in his hands. Heard him say he even got the little, little bit of babies in his hand. He also got grown folks in his hand. Sometimes we think we get too grown and can't sit down and listen to nobody. But heard him say you gotta come as a little child. Hallelujah. That's how I was on today. Them women was, uh, was praying and, 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 and testifying. In my heart, I was saying, Lord, give me some mercy. Find myself saying, Lord, give me some grace. I don't believe you want some grace here tonight. Hallelujah. Oh, you, you, you hear them say that uh, you think I look good on the outside. And you see me wearing these suits and Shoes and stuff. But I want to let you know here, I'm, a, I'm in a mess. I'm in a hell of a 
whole mess. But I thank God for Jesus. He didn't cast me aside. He didn't throw me away. He gave me another chance. Gave me an opportunity. Said, so son, you can live. So you can make it. Just do what I say. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Pray the Lord say, I'll be with you. Hallelujah. I'll be with you. Always. Always. Even to the end of the world. Can you believe that tonight? He'll be with you. Always. 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 I've been playing on tuning up here, but I just want to get it on my chest that I need some mercy. That I need some grace. There was, there was, there was, the devil trying to take our life. But thank God for the men of God. He held our life in his hand. And I have say that, that I have in my hand. So the devil in hell won't pluck you out. That's why I'm glad that I'm in his hand tonight. How many of you glad here tonight? Glad that you're in his hand. He have tonight, Lord. Here I am tonight. I too was just like my brother. Going through hell all week long. But the Lord saw fit for this meeting. And then when the word came forth last night, it showed me myself. I was intoxicated with the cares of the world. If y'all don't know anything about being intoxicated, you ain't conscious of what you're doing. You don't know who's around you. You don't know all the time, amen, what your next move gonna be. But Lord, thank you for your word. I just feel happy, man. Gotta sit myself down. I told you you were gonna warm me up, man. Amen. It's time to we're going to turn into the hands of Minister Grant. Mark Quiz Grant. As you come, let us say thank the Lord. Church, say amen. Amen, amen again. Amen. And I give honor to Jesus Christ, to the Apostle Reverend Peterson, to each and every one of the Bishop's staff. Special honor tonight to Bishop Andrew Stevens, the leader here, and to Bishop Tisdale. Amen. To everyone working along with them, to their companion, to my companion. Amen. To everyone it takes to make up the body of Christ. Amen. I thank God for this young people meeting. Amen. When Bishop Tisdale got up, amen, and he said the scripture. Amen. And in my mind, I already knew what the scripture was. Amen. It was talking about the prodigal son. Amen. And when I think about that word prodigal, it just means that a man is lost. Amen. I thank God. The Bible then gave many names to people in the Bible. You had the woman with the issue, the lame man, legion. Amen. But the, the, the thing with those people is every time they came in contact with Jesus, Amen. You couldn't call them them names no more. Amen. One thing about the prodigal son is the prodigal son simply means that he was lost. Amen. And, and thank God you may, I know the Bible scholars out there saying that the prodigal son didn't come in contact with Jesus. I know that. Amen. But he can't, but you, you, your mind is too close. Amen. He came in contact with the love of God. Hallelujah. Amen. And if you really believe that God is love, you'll say he met Jesus. Not only did he meet Jesus, but Jesus met him. Amen. He was in the hog pen. Amen. How many here have been in the hog pen? I know you have. Bishop Rice preached about it. He said there's 17 different hog pens. 
17 different works of the flesh. Amen. And I don't care if you read that scripture, you're going to find yourself on either one of them. Amen. And I thank God for that scripture because I found myself in the same situation. Amen. In a hog pen. Amen. And then not realizing who my father is. I'm not talking about Ella Grant. I'm not talking about Bishop Evans. But I'm talking about Jesus Christ. Amen. And when you know who your father is, you know the caliber of your father. When you know the power that your father possesses. Amen. And you come to yourself in a hog pen. Man, there's no reason for me being here. When my father has everything that I need. That's the problem with us today. Sometimes we just have to come to ourselves. Amen. The only reason you in the hog pen is because you too proud. The reason you living below your means is because you're too proud to come to yourself. I know this is I know I'm not I'm not to be reduced to this point in my life. This ain't me. I got a father that has everything. Hallelujah. Anything that I need is in Christ. Ain't no use of you sitting uh, in your heart pen. Hallelujah. Amen. And one thing about the prodigal son, he had to go find his father. Hallelujah. He had to go to his father. But here we are in the midst of this great service. And the father's coming to us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The father ain't even got a way for us to come to him. He said, I'm. <laughs> I'm going to pick it right up where you left off, preacher. Can you say thank God for Jesus? I think y'all done got comfortable in them seats. Can you say thank God for Jesus? I want to hear the young people say thank God for Jesus. I don't want nobody uh, over 25 to say thank God for Jesus right now. Let me hear you say thank God for Jesus. It's a problem there. It's a situation right there. It's called reputation. Our reputation is more important than your savior. Say, what you talking about, Ella Paget? I'm cool. Y'all know me? You know how I wear my jeans? I ain't finna open my mouth loud. My, my reputation is on the line. I can't hear them tell it. I can't, can't let them hear me saying the name Jesus. I'm who I am. My reputation is more important. But Lord, here I am here tonight. Y'all gonna pray with me. Here I am here tonight. The men of God have been preaching. And I'm going to give honor, but good God Almighty, I'm going to make this quick. It's after 10. Thank God for the apostle. Thank God for the apostle that bought this gospel in evening time and hung out a light. And that light is Jesus. And it's still shining right now. He gave it to Bishop William Dern. He put a light. Same light. One no different light. Same gospel. Bishop Rice. Bishop Sears. Bishop Ross. Don't you thank God for these men? Because some of us didn't come into the knowledge of this light unless they preached it to us. Why is it such a drawback when we're getting ready to give honor then? How else was you going to know what it was? Thank God for those men. Bishop Sears labored here. Thank God for that man. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God for Bishop Stevens here tonight. Thank God for Bishop Stevens here tonight. 
I'm not thanking God for his flesh. I'm thanking God for the light which is Jesus Christ, which he represents, which he produces. He'll tell you, I heard him in one Wednesday night in Jackson, and he was, the Lord was using him so mightily. He said, it ain't enough for you to get close to this flesh. This flesh will leave you, but you better get to God that I'm preaching. Thank God for Bishop Stevens. Thank God for Bishop Wilson. Thank God for Bishop Mason and to Bishop Stutterman. Thank God for Bishop Tisdale. Thank God for Bishop Nixon and to Bishop Key. Thank God for Bishop Evans. Thank God for Bishop Williamson. Thank God for Bishop J.T. Martin and Bishop Henry Martin. Thank God for Mother Faison and Sister Green. Thank God for the whole household of faith. Thank God for my companion and family. Thank God for the young people department. Amen. This weekend is set aside for you. I'm looking for a young man and a young lady that's here tonight that ain't worried about your reputation. Because let me tell you something about a reputation. That reputation is only good enough until you mess around and get in trouble somewhere. What you talking about, preacher? It's some young man that's been selling dope for years. So dope and, and, and murdered people and, and got his reputation built all the way up to where he was feared by everybody walking around. But let me tell you something. That reputation was only good enough until the cops put the cuffs on him. And when the cops put the cuffs on him and throwed him in the car and slapped them charges on him and he wound himself incarcerated for 30 to 50 some odd years, that reputation has gone down the drain. So let me tell you something here tonight. Your reputation that you're trying to build ain't, ain't hitting on nothing here tonight. If it ain't built on Jesus... You're talking about being intoxicated with the cares of the world. And when you talk about the word world, first thing your mind go to is Dairy Queen, Chick-fil-A. Huh? Talking about the skating ring. That ain't what they're talking about. The cares of the world. The mindset of the world. The world got its way of fixing problems. The world got his way of having fun. The world got his way of getting high. But Jesus got his way too. Don't you want to be introduced to him tonight? You done been introduced to drugs. Some of y'all know what that is. Being introduced to marijuana. Look where it got you. Being introduced to liquor. Look where it got you. Look where it got you. It don't make you wind up with one thing. And that's a big old headache that you'd want to get rid of real quick. And you sitting there full of sorrow. Why did I drink myself to where I can't see right? Why did I drink to myself to where I can't even operate right? Yes! Trying to get high. Trying to get high. I want to tell you here tonight. There's no high like this high I'm talking about here tonight. There's no high like I received on last night. There's no high. They still quiet back there because it's their reputation that they trying to hold on to. I ain't finna let nobody see me crying out. Let me tell you something. Any of you guys ever watched that movie called Lord of the Rings? I seen Lord of the Rings. They had a bunch of versions of it. Y'all know what I'm talking about. That little old thing. What his name? Smeagol. He was ugly. Had a little hair on his head. Huh? Looked like he had one of the sharpest razors it was because he never could keep no hair on his head. You know, big eyes and ugly walking around. And Smeagol had his eye on one thing, and that was that ring. You know what I'm talking about? He had his eyes on that ring. Every time you seen him, that's what he was talking about. That ring. I got to have it. I want it. I want it. I got to have it. To make a long story short, you see in the end that the ring began to fall. It began to fall, but Smeagol 
was so into that ring that he didn't pay attention to where that ring was falling into. He had no idea that that ring was falling into hell. But his focus was so fixed on having that ring that he jumped down and he grabbed the ring and you see him put it on and he got swallowed up in hell. I just want to tell you here tonight, there's some sneakers in here. Your focus, good God of my, you don't see where this world is headed to. You can't see the direction that this world is headed to. The man of God is telling us that this world is going to hell. If you got your eyes on it, if you got your eyes on it and fix that you were a part of it, you're going to go to hell with it. But here I am here. Here I am here tonight. I want to hear your heart cry out. Here I am, Lord. Here I am, Lord. I'm on my way to hell, but I need deliverance. Here I am here. Here I am here. I got a worldly mindset. When a girl talk about me, I got to talk back about her. When he hit me, I got to hit him back. A worldly mindset of taking care of things. Here I am here. parable of the prodigal son. Thank God I told you I ain't going to be long. I just want to give you a message here tonight. Yes, I, I see the urgency in the men of God and how they're trying to show us that the end is near. And I just told you about that ring. It's already falling. Yes, it is. And I want to disguise that ring as the world. It was a certain man that had two sons. And there was a, the youngest of the son. Y'all gonna pray with me? The youngest of the son went to his daddy and tells his daddy, give me the portion that belonged to me. And when you're a young person, you understand, you'll start putting your, your hopes and confidence in anything. Because you're young. And anything you look at, you want to put your hopes and confidence in it. Yes. What you talking about, preacher? Yes. When well, you used to get on that basketball court. And you get ready to start playing ball. Yes. And you want to dunk the goal. You know what you want to say. If I didn't have these faded glory shoes on, and I had the Michael Jordans, I think I can reach the goal. Oh, if my mama loved me, uh -huh. if she loved me like she say she do, she'll go get me them Jordans. Y'all remember them pump ups, don't you? With the little ball on the tip, you just pump it, and you think that that's gonna get you up and dunk the goal. And he got a false hope. Yes. And he get out there and he say, hey, man, we're going to get ready. He say, wait a minute, man. I got to pump my shoes up. I'm ready now. I'm going to dunk now. And he get out there and still just reaching the net. Now his feelings hurt because he done put his trust. Oh, my God. He done put all his trust in these pair of shoes that he thought was going to elevate him. I want to tell you here tonight, there's some young person that done put their trust in the wrong thing. Yes. Oh, Lord. You done put your trust in something you think that's going to elevate you. Yes. But I want to let you know here tonight, it ain't but one thing and one man yes one Lord yes one faith and one baptism yes that can elevate you higher than anybody else yes I believe that scripture say humble yourself yes under the mighty hands of God and in due time he'll exalt you Young man asked his daddy, yeah, he did. He young. Father, father, give me the goods that fall to me. If you keep reading a little bit longer, 
He divided unto them. He's living. Uh huh. It ain't many days after the younger son got it all together. Let me tell you something. He was already in a far country. Don't let me lose you, young people. Before you come to your daddy, before you come to your mama, you already at the basketball game before you open your mouth. She's talking about, daddy, can I go to the basketball game? You already there. You there in your mind. Daddy, can I go skating with my friends? You already there in your mind. And when daddy tell you no, it come against your will. It come against that excitement that the Satan had already pumped into your head. Yeah, dear. Now you're mad and you're folding your shoulders and you're folding your arms. Talking about mama don't love me. Talking about mama don't want me to have no fun. Daddy don't want me to have no fun. Yes. Yeah, Lord. Yeah, Lord. Yeah, Lord. Yeah, Lord. Yeah, Lord. For Father. Here I am here tonight. Here I am here tonight. He got his goods. Uh huh. Let me tell you something. He got out there and he wasted his substance. Uh huh. Where righteous is living. That means he started doing anything. Give it to the part where he said he joined himself with a citizen of the country. Yes. It say he joined himself to a citizen of that country. Let me help you out here. Oh, God. Let me look at this here. This is a citizen of this country. What you talking about, preacher? Yes. This cell phone. Oh, my God. Oh, Lord. It say he wasted his goodness that his father gave him with righteous living. He done got attached to this this thing of the world. Oh my Lord. Can you say amen? Can you say amen? Are you too hard to open your mouth? You ain't going to be too hard when they make you say that number behind bars. You got to say it or they going to beat you behind. But I say Jesus. They want to get you behind, boys. They want to beat you behind. You hard now, and you won't say anything. But they're going to make you open your mouth. It's a black stick that they got. Oh, Lord. And they'll beat you down and call your dog. Your name don't even mean nothing to them. You just a number. That's what I want to tell you here tonight. God love you. And you have a name. You're not just a number to him. You're precious in his sight. So here I am, Lord. Here I am, Lord. Have mercy on me. Join myself to my cell phone. That's my friend that's my friend that's who I conversate with now I done turned into be something else only thing the word drunk me is that you impaired it don't mean that you got to have a, a strong drink I heard the Lord saying being intoxicated with the cares of this world too much of that cell phone will get you drunk too much of associating yourself with people who are full of hate will get you drunk too much of being associated with people that got lust for devils will get you drunk too much being associated with somebody that got a problem will get you drunk and you've come, you become to be intoxicated. Yes, I just told you what the world is a worldly mindset. Let me tell you how the world takes care of things. When they get sad, they go down here to this thing called wine and spirit. When they get sad, they say, Man, I need a pickup. 
let me go down here to wine and spirit. Amen. Do I got any witnesses out here tonight? Oh, Lord. And you find yourself looking over some things. I tried that one. That wasn't strong enough. That ain't going to put me where I need to be put at. You tried this one and say that one ain't going to put me in the game like I supposed to. I think I'm going to go a little step higher. Start looking at them 20 slash 80. I need something. Yes. I don't need no wine cooler. It ain't got but about five percent in it. Oh, I need a pick me up. I need something strong. Oh Lord. I need some 180 proof. I want to tell you here tonight. Yes. Bishop Stevens and Bishop Tisdale are producing something that ain't 80 proof. It ain't 30 proof. It ain't 20 proof. It's a hot up Yes, it's a hundred percent. Yes, it's a sure shot. It's a sure shot. You see how we intoxicated? See, don't nobody like to tell on themselves. Everybody looking around. I wonder if he gonna say it to him. Yeah. How you gonna help young people if you never ever release yourself in front of them? That's why they can't come and talk to you. Oh Lord, you put a wall up and they feel like they can't trust you because they see you as a perfect one. They see you as a Mr. Good Two Shoes. I don't care if you your dad, you they daddy. I don't care if you they mama. They gonna put that wall up because you ain't got that relationship with them. But Lord. I ain't got no help here tonight. Lord! 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 Here I am! Here I am! Here I am! Here I am! I took your joy and picked up a liquor bottle. I took your peace and picked up a cigarette. I took your joy and snorted some cocaine. I'm taking your peace, yes, and doing the wrong thing with it. But here I am here. Say that boy came and told God, his father, to give me the things that belong to me. How many times we come in the Lord's house and say, Lord, give me strength. And we turn right around and go to a party and party it all out. And when it's time to come to church, we ain't got no church going by. So here I am. Now nah, you're nasty. Now nah, you nasty. Let me tell you something. I remember being in a store one time and I liked shirts. And I seen a shirt that I liked it real good. It was so fire, sister. I'm telling you, I said, good God, I got to have this thing. Snatched it right off the hanger and went and got in line. Just as happy as I wanted to be. Eyes this big. Because I already seen myself with that shirt on. Until she gave me the price. When he saw, she said that shirt was $38. I said, oh, whoa, oh, oh, oh. whoa. Wait a minute here now. I'm in dirt cheap. <laughs> what you doing behind that register? Maybe your hand's shaking. Let, let's try this again. And she said, Deke, you know that look, Deke, 38. I said, oh, look at the trouble I done got myself in. Oh, I said that to say this. That's how the enemy will draw you in. He don't show you the price tag. You don't see the price tag because you're so into it. And now it's time to pay the price. You didn't think that this thing was going to take your church going mine away. You didn't think just one time looking at that thing on your phone was going to take your mind away from hearing the Lord speak his word in his house. See, Satan don't show you all that. He 
He don't show you the price tag. He just show you the form. But here I am here. Here I am, Lord. 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 Your word found me in a place on Friday. Your word found me in a place on the day. So here I am here. Where's that young man? Oh, I'm going to get to that part in the scripture. There's that young man. And where's that young lady that feel just so nasty here tonight? You came here and the enemy has been beating you down all week, all month, all year. Where you at here tonight? Can you come up here and join me here tonight? Yes, I want to finish telling my story. Don't be afraid. Don't worry about your friends. They can't do nothing for you. I'm trying to produce you one that can do something for you. Where's that one to step out that ain't standing by reputation here tonight? Where's that sister? Where's that brother that'll come out here that's tired? Yes, that's tired. I got three here. That's all that's in here. I got four. Look at yonder. Your reputation don't mean nothing. Tired. Wrestling with spirits at night. Satan trying to tell you to take your own life. Sneak in the cabinet and take them pills that I see mama taking to go to sleep. Maybe I gotta take eight of them. I'll never wake up again because I'm not pretty enough. I ain't got game like the next the next man. But here I am here. Ain't you tired? Man's supposed to be the head. It's a doggone shame. We got more women down here than we got boys. Then you wonder what's been going on on the internet. Why they stopping you? Why they trying to beat your brains out? Because your reputation. You think you're so hard. You think you're so cool. But you better cry out here. Tonight might be your last chance. This might be your last meeting. Here I am. They steal lace and weed. You think you're so cool? They steal lace and weed. They used to call them 360s in my day. And you get hooked to the wrong one. You don't realize you ain't addicted to marijuana. It's that crack that's in there that's got you coming because the dope man done put it in there so he can have a sure say on the next time. He know you coming back. But you're so cool in front of your friends here tonight. If I were you here tonight, I ain't worrying about that. I put my hands in the air. I said, save you. The scripture say when he came to himself, when he came to himself, he said, uh-huh, uh-huh, I'm dying. Who can be truthful here tonight and say I'm dying? dying. It's some hate in my heart against my sister. I'm dying. It's some hate in my heart against my brother. I'm dying. I'm perishing. Questions in my mind. Do my mama love me? Questions in my mind. Why my daddy had to leave me? See, black folks don't want to talk like this. Then we wonder why the boy started robbing a bank somewhere. Because he didn't feel like he had nobody to come talk to. Questions in my mind. Why my daddy ain't in my life? Why my daddy walk away from me? Am I right, preacher? Why did this happen happen to me? Why did that man pick me over every other girl? Questions in my mind. Questions in my heart. I'm really hurt. 
I'm really damaged goods. I feel worthless tonight. I feel worthless tonight. I look at Deacon Richie back there. Don't mean to spot him out. But I remember when he was coming. And he don't realize it. But every time I used to look at him. And I watched how he came. It put fire behind me. And it made me thank God for Jesus. Went out there and sold dope. Went out there and sold drugs. And every time, even when he was out there. You remember that man? Coming in hardest. I'm talking about gold, six point star on the chest. He in there, and I see him. Every time I see him, I take care of him. I know he be hungry because I know what he been doing. The cashier, I say, hey, put two burgers in there for him. And I look at him here tonight, raising his hand. I look at him here tonight in God's house. Ain't ashamed to say the name Jesus. And look at him. The places that he been. That's where you trying to go. And he got his hands up. Maybe you ought to look back there and see what God can do. Here I am here tonight. 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 Here I am. 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 Crow! Savior! 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 We got history. We go way back to the academy days. I heard the Lord use her today. Yes, I did. Oh, we all been through some stuff. Look at her coming out here because she already know what some of them meant. Here I am here. Here I am here. Here I am here. Here I am here. Here I am, Lord. Here I am, Lord. Yes! 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 Let it go. 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 Yes! Let it go. Yeah! Here I am! Here I am! Here I am! you to do me a favor, D. Them boys that think they so hard back there. Do me a favor. Go back there and grab them and embrace them. They don't even realize what we got in Zion. We got perfect examples. We got brothers that been incarcerated. We got sisters that been hooked on dope. We got people that done contemplated suicide all the help we need is right here in Zion here I am Break down walls tonight. Break down walls. 
chains, break chains, break chains, break chains, break chains in my heart, in my mind, in my life. Break chains, break chains in my son's life. Yes. somebody he's so real to me he's so real to me he's so real to me he's so real
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm in your hands. I'm in your hands, dear Lord. I'm in your hands. I'm in your hands, dear Jesus. I'm in your hands. Say it with me. I'm in your hands. Oh Lord, I'm in your hands. I'm in your hands, oh Lord. I'm in your hands. I'm in your hands, oh Lord. I'm in your hands. I'm in your hands oh lord i'm in your hands help me sing it y'all i'm in your hands oh lord i'm in your hands i'm in your hands oh lord i'm in your hands I'm in your hands, oh Lord. I'm in your hands. I'm in your hands, oh Lord. I'm in, can young people, can you say that? You in his hands. I'm in, let me hear you. Your hands, oh Lord. I'm in. He proved that Friday night. I mean, I mean, your hands, oh Lord. I mean, your hands. I mean, your hands, oh Lord. I'm in your hands. I'm in your hands, oh Lord. I'm in your hands. Oh, I'm in. I'm in your hands. I'm in. Yeah, yeah. I was singing too quiet for me. Oh. Say it like you mean it. I believe they say sing it with conviction. I mean. Mean. Yeah, yes. Can you bring it up? Oh, I mean. Oh, oh, oh.
Sing it with me now. Y'all getting quiet. Take it up, minister. Can you say a lot of, I'm in. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You want to say it to you. Thank you, Jesus. I'm in. You say it again. I'm in your hands. You ain't God's hands, son. Can you say it? Can you say it? I'm in your hands. Your hands. I'm in your hands. Lord. Thank God for Jesus. Thank God for Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I want to make this announcement as good as God has been to us. We are asking everybody to come back tomorrow on time to hear what the Lord got to say. It's not over yet. Also, we want you to be prepared to bring a good offering on tomorrow. Amen, everybody. Amen. Let's put a smile on the Lord's face. Ella Watson. May we thank God for the word on tonight.